I'm Doreen Massey, Baroness Massey of Darwin. I came into the House of Lords in 1999. I'm here today to talk about this marvellous window just behind me. It was a bequest from a member of the public, a woman called Mrs Deersley, who really loved Parliament and she gave some money for the, this window to be put here. And they were bombed in the war or taken out during the war and they decided to replace them with this window that she'd given. It depicts how the suffragettes fought for the vote and finally got the full vote in 1928. The window starts off with showing how the suffragettes were force-fed in prison on the top panel. It shows the, a jug with milk and eggs, I assume it's milk and eggs, that they would have been fed. It then shows uh, some chains which they were, would have been um, chained up in prison. And it shows further down the window two panels, one showing that men in 1900 could be drunk and disorderly but still vote but women in 1900 could be teachers, doctors, lawyers, but did not have the vote. And this is what they were fighting for. There's a little badge, which is the badge of suffragettes wore in prison. You'll see a cat and a mouse there. And this stands for something called the Cat and Mouse Act, which meant that women in prison could be force-fed, or if they went on hunger strike, left to get really weak and ill. And then they were released, and when they got better, they were taken back into prison. So that was the Cat and Mouse Act. And then lower down the window, you can see how they finally, in 1918, women over the age of 30 who had property, and all men, got the vote. <laughs> Works of Art Committee decided to do these two windows and um, the contract was given to an artist called Shona McInnes from Aberdeen to design the window and then it was made in Birmingham and it was installed in 2002. What I like about this window is two things. First of all I think it's beautiful. I think it's really well done in stained glass and it's done by a woman so the suffragettes are appropriate. And I also feel that it, it does make me proud to be a woman in politics in Britain now, where we of course have full voting rights, full employment rights. And I think that the fact that it is done in these marvellous colours, the suffragette colours were purple, green and white, and there's some of that in the window. But I think it's a really striking example of excellent stained glass as an art form. Thank you.